Captain, please, give Farah the plans, tell her the truth. You'll have a chance to tell the whole world. I don't care about the world. I did this for my sister. Faceplate to 06, friendly air traffic approaching south of 180. Call sign is Watcher 1. Copy. It's Laswell. What's she doing here? Ah, I smell blood. Lab intel. Keep it on you. Yes, sir. Turning him over. To who? Russia. Prisoner swap. It's one way. What's the word, boss? Stand by. Don't make this ugly, Captain. You give me a reason, not to. It's a proxy war, John. We're all just pawns in this. Well, you speak for yourself. Hand him over. Yes, sir. Ah. Here's yours. Intel's mine. Whatever you've got going on here, I can help. I'll call you if I need you. I know how this works, Captain. Not this time. They gave Hadia to the Russians. They'll kill him. If he's lucky. Looks like you saved the free world again, Captain Price. Hadia located Barkov's lab in eastern Georgia. Gas factory. He had plans to destroy it. Hadia's fucking crazy. Yeah, but we're a little crazy, aren't we? Isn't that right, Alex? Affirmative, sir. With your help, we can finish what he started. You're a good friend, Captain. And the worst enemy, I'm sure. But I do not cross borders and invade. I defend my people here at home. Well, sometimes the best line of defense. It's all there. Plans. Personnel. I see. A militia with no ties to the West could carry out this mission. And they'd all blame the terrorists, wouldn't they? I knew I could trust you. If Barkov's there, he's mine. This is a covert operation to destroy Barkov's gas lab. Nikolai is on the inside. He'll provide the explosives. Two teams will infiltrate. Garrick and I will plant charges on the pipeline. Farah and Alex, you'll get a detonator from Nikolai and rig the main furnace. When the charges are set, get a safe distance and bring it down. That support from Laswell paves the way. The rest is up to us. Troops in the open north side of the bridge. Call for fire. Doctor, three seconds for that. Bell's wrong. Let's see who's on. Laura, yalla, yalla. Perimeter's open, Kate. We're moving in. The beer snap right now still got it. Let's go into the furnace. We're on the third. Georgia. Freaking go, dude. Viper. Use laser mark. Let's go. Where's all the dudes? Oh, right there. Ow! Drum reloading. Sick. Helicopter. Come on, reload. Drone, reload. 
Let me get the guy in the tower. Why can't it be like reloading wall with him and stuff? Let's go, dude. This is so sick. Oh, a bunch of dudes up there. Woo! Wait, we can only fire two shots before it has to reload? Hey, for real? <laughs> wow. Well, this just makes it too easy. There we go. Isn't that all of them? Oh, here's another tower. Oh, we got the helicopter. Well, we get the tower. Drone. Or tank. Oh, got him. Oh, snap. Bunch of guys to the left. Ah! There goes Viper. Ow. Goodness, bro. Come on, get it, get it, get it with the drop. Yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. You guys see that? Let go. That was so sick. Oh my gosh, let's do that. Bro. Kill him, Farrah. Ah, I'm hurt. Is that a guy? Ow, ow. I want to see a smoke. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, look at all those dudes. Just got clapped. I'm gonna get behind something. Come on, reloading. Come on, man. There's a pretty guy chasing me, bro. <laughs> There you go, check my reach. Nice. Let's freaking go. Another checkpoint. Oh, Kobe. Ow. All forces on fast. Oh my gosh. Chill, bruh. You kidding me, right? I think there's so much danger to kill. Let's go. Ow! I'm gonna freaking drop a drone on you, bro. Let's go, dude. Wait, is this actually destroying the trees? Dude, that's sick! All forces, all forces. We're under attack. Code 6. Is that like reinforcements? Combat stations immediately. Wait for it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. There's a freaking helicopter. Is that ours? Nope. Sure isn't. Alright, let's see if this thing can get it. Drone reloading. No. Come on. It's gotta stop moving. I gotta get it while it's just kinda staying stationary. That chick just looked just like Vera. Was that a dude? Come on, stay still, stay still. Gosh dang it. Go, go, go. No! What? We missed! There we go. We got it. Down, relax a little bit. Helicopter's down. Shoot on sight? Bro, we're dropping drones on them. Why, why wouldn't they be shooting on sight already? 
Whoa. Dude, what? It's not killing him? Are you kidding me? Loading, come on. Come on, Price. Toss one up there. That get the guy? I think it did. Nice. Oh my gosh, he sees me. I'm gonna drop a drone on. Oh, he did. So. Clear. Freaking go, dude. Echo team, this is your start line. Oh, Bro, Price loves to have freaking crowbar. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't want to shoot those guys. Oh, baby, a scar? Uh, come on, keep it your sniper. Oh, baby. Oh, snap. Here we go. Now the party's getting us started. Dude, I can't see anything. Do we have a night vision? There's a guy up there, too. Goodness. How's he still alive? Getting shot at. Moving up, second level. Yeah, Gosh, there's a freaking billion dudes over here now, too. What? Bro, what's going on with his body? <laughs> He's like still holding on with his hand. Let's go. Peek. You did. Oh! Shotgun. MP7? Oh, baby. Getting flashbacks to Black Ops 2. Just toss some nades. Outside. Here we go. Oh, that's our dudes. Just jump. Oh, sick. Come quickly, get their charges. C4. The detonator will start the chain reaction. Load the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. Why help us? Barkov is a stain on my country. It will not stand. Spasibo, Nikolai. Sweet. Lego. I'll the rest to Price and Sergeant Garrick. See you on the other side. Alright. Let's blow this thing and go home. Oh! Wait, what's this? Oh, smokes the whole place. Ooh, get him with that knife. Oh, right in the throat! <gasps> Take down again! <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, baby, DP-12 incendiary. <gasps> Yo, it's from the trailer to the juggernaut! Oh my gosh, run! He's on fire! Flashbang. Flashbang through the door.
What do you mean I can't win? You're on fire, bro. <laughs> You got stuck behind him blow up? Oh, he did. Yeah, you thought, dude. You thought. Oh, that's our guys. Holy crap, I'm shot him in the face. we've got a problem. What is it? This is actual. How traffic actual? General Barkov. I say again, Barkov is moving to the helipad. Echo is approaching the furnace now, actual. Run! Set your charges and move. The furnace is through here. There's the door. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Open. Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. And do what? Ignite the furnace. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire, and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been on assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Roger, Echo. Fight into the pipeline now. You said, Sergeant. No ROEs now, huh, Captain? Not at all. Starting with that sniper. Oh, sick. Oh, a minigun. Oh. No, grenade. There we go. Who's next? Is that all? Besides the sniper. It's probably like that earlier mission where we can't actually kill him. At least until we get close. Okay, sick. Let's grab our scar. See you Ow! Is he not dead? Wait for it. Ah, sniper. Let's go, dude. Smoke him. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, snap. Who's that? Right here. Nine charges. My blood charge is hot. Barkov's bugging out. Farah, Nikolai, where are you? Я все равно сколько сейчас времени. С Москвой мне связь быстро! Скажите им этом генерал Барков. 
Меня не будут Is dead. Roger that. Alex, charge is set. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Alex. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three, two, one. Karim! Madrasa would approve. Where to? Orzakstan. Home. Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakayev wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. Then give me what I need. Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John Octavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. Yo. No way. Yo. So this game is legit. Like a prequel to the Modern Warfare trilogy. That is insane! Dude, I, I didn't know that. Before the game released, Infinity Ward was just saying that this game is a spin off. You know, it's like kind of an offshoot from the Modern Warfare series. That this game will feature some of the same characters, obviously Captain Price, but that it's like a separate universe thing. But no, this is actually in the Modern Warfare universe. They talked about Zakayev and McMillan 
about being a Pripyat. That's from freaking Call of Duty 4, dude. And then he's organizing TF141. He's got Soap, Simon Riley, that's Ghost, Gaz, that was freaking Kyle. The dude in this game is Gaz. Oh my gosh. That's insane. So this game is literally a prequel to Call of Duty 4. I can't believe that, dude. That's an awesome. Oh. Wow. They did a fantastic job with this campaign, straight up. This was amazing, and I really do like that. That this, like, it's a twist, I guess you could call it, but like, it's a perfect thing because this ties into the Modern Warfare trilogy without discrediting anything about that. It doesn't change anything about the original trilogy. It just adds more to it. Sure, the original trilogy never mentioned Barkov or any of these other people, but that's because the original trilogy started in 2007, and this one came out in 2019. But it still builds off that and connects into it really well, and I really do like that. Infinity Ward, you guys did a great job on this campaign. Man, I kind of wish it was longer. That was kind of short. Huh. Man, <laughs> I want Modern Warfare 2. 2. You know, I like Modern Warfare 2, like the game that came out in 2000, uh, 2009, but like, no, but like Modern Warfare 2019, 2. Like, I want the, the next one of this one, dude. This was awesome, man. I, I can't believe that. What an amazing game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yo, Spec Ops continues this story. I remember them saying that. The Spec Ops continues the same story with the same characters and stuff and builds off the same campaign universe as well. So, we're going to get more story with Spec Ops. So, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to hop into Spec Ops, and we're going to play a bunch of that and see where the story continues to go, because I guess it's... Uh, my guess is it's probably going to be a little bit more stuff to connect to the Modern Warfare universe, because this one, you know, he's organizing TF-141. So, if it just continues more into the original Modern Warfare trilogy, that's amazing. I... Wow. I'm honestly kind of blown away by that. That's awesome. What a great campaign. You know, I... Call of Duty games have always had really good campaigns. The original games, like, you know, Call of Duty 1 through 3, and, like, all the other ones, like the old, old ones with World War II, those ones were all really great. Uh, Call of Duty 4 with the Modern Warfare trilogy, dude, that was... 10 out of 10, the whole way. That was an absolutely perfect trilogy, and I think you could have asked for anything, like, better than that. We also had the Black Ops series, which is not really a trilogy, because World at War counts as part of that. And uh, Black Ops 1, 2, 3 connects to that. Black Ops 4 doesn't really have a storyline, kind of does a blackout and stuff. But uh, Black Ops series has been pretty good. I didn't really love Black Ops 3, that uh, storyline, but overall, this was good. Infinity War definitely knows how to make a campaign. Ghost's campaign was great. Uh, Infinite Warfare's campaign was pretty good, too. But especially the original Modern Warfare trilogy, so I'm really happy about the way things turned out here. This was awesome. Look at all these people that helped out on this. I mean, they, they had... Even Sledgehammer helped him out with this game, dude. Like, they had so many people working on this game. That's crazy. And I think it really shows. We've got lots and lots of people working on this game. Lots of just great and amazing talent. And they did a great job. I mean, this game looks phenomenal, especially the in-game cutscenes. It's, uh... Man, I feel like Advanced Warfare really started that with those, like, mocap cutscenes and stuff. Looks real good. And uh, this game really just stretches it to the next level. But yeah, I'm kind of sad that it's over now, you know? Like, I, I want more from this. And luckily, we do have Spec Ops. Um, I'm not sure if Infinity Ward is going to be adding in more levels or missions to Spec Ops as time goes on, or if it's just like a set amount. Uh, I don't know exactly how many Spec Ops missions there are, but I know that they have at least some of them. But. After those missions, what happens next? Are they going to add more, or is that it? Like, I would love to see expansion packs for this game, where they add in more storyline, you know? More Spec Ops missions that take place in the Modern Warfare Trilogy. You know, do some Spec Ops missions that you couldn't do with the original trilogy like 10 years ago. Do new stories to kind of branch off the original trilogy, because this one's really a prequel to Call of Duty 4. But let's get some stuff in between like MW2 and 3 and in between COD 4 and MW2, some like Spec Ops missions, exploring all that. That would be amazing. And I'd honestly, I'd be even willing to pay, you know, money for this. Like, charge me five, ten bucks per mission, dude. I would easily pay that. 
because this is such a great and amazing story and I really want it to continue, but I guess that's it for the uh, campaign of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That was, yeah, that was great. Props to you, Infinity Ward. Delivered a great campaign. I can't wait to go back through and play it all again. Really try and take everything in. Um, there is no intel in this, so that's something I've always liked about Call of Duty campaigns, is checking out the intel, because that usually gives you some, like, backstory and stuff. Just gives you, like, you know, some of those, like, little pieces of uh, paper or something like that, where it's like, hey, this is, uh, like, a little bit of backstory with this character and this character, and just links the whole universe together for those people who want to explore it a little bit more. Unfortunately, we don't have that, but I, I'm sure there are, like, things in the game that you can really... Like, if you play through it more and more, you're really going to be able to understand it and listen to it and just really have the whole story connect way more. But, you know, I'm actually really surprised about that connection to the original trilogy. I, I think I might make a video of all, like, the different references and the way it connects. And maybe a video specifically talking about, like, how this game really does connect to the original trilogy and the whole Modern Warfare trilogy storyline, all that stuff. And just really go over all that stuff. That'd be absolutely incredible. Um, I just, I'd love that. But yeah, that, uh, like I said, that was Modern Warfare. What a great game, guys. I am real happy about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Uh, we're going to get, you know, play some Spec Ops as well. We got multiplayer content. And as well as... There's supposed to be a Battle Royale mode coming out for this game, coming out in like January, sometime early next year. So that'll be really fun. And then next year, it's leaked that we're going to have Black Ops 5. So get ready for that, guys. It'll be a really fun time. And yeah, Call of Duty game campaigns have always been great. Um, there's been a couple I haven't really enjoyed, but overall they've been amazing. And I really think that this one is like one of the best we've had since Black Ops 2. Yeah. I would say the original trilogy for Modern Warfare, then like the Black Ops series with World of War, I would say World of War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, that trilogy, I wouldn't count Black Ops 3 and 4 in a trilogy like that, but that series, and then Modern Warfare, like this is incredible, I love this game, and I can't wait to play more of it, so if you guys enjoyed, then make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time. City's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once, but it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Aki didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice hit. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. You've been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatel the power to turn acts of terror 
into acts of war. That's the problem for everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate.